Hey guys, I used to do Uber Eats as a part-time job. So today I want to show you how much you can earn in a day and give you some tips and tricks to get more orders and save time. So let's go. So looks like we have just got an order. So if you can see this order, it's uh, 4.5 kilometers and it pays around uh, $4.43. It's a good order because they're paying us a dollar per kilometer. So I'm going to accept it now. So you can see that uh, it's church chicken which is just nearby, just behind us actually. So I'm just going to go get the order and uh, we'll uh, see you again. So there are a couple of things that you need before you start doing Uber Eats. So obviously you'll need a car unless you're planning on doing uh, Uber by bike or by walk. And there are a couple of things you need in your car which will help you. So you are going to need a phone mount uh, so that you can rigidly mount your phone and uh, not worry about it falling down. And you'll need a delivery bag, uh, possibly one that is insulated to keep uh, the food warm. So you want to make sure that you have enough fuel for the day, you don't want to be stopping and filling up fuel every time so you might miss some orders and always carry a bottle of water with you and uh, have some uh, snacks like a bag of chips or something healthier uh, so that you don't have to stop to eat the best time to do uber orders is from 5 o'clock in the evening to 11 o'clock in the night because a lot of people order around this time and after 11 o'clock most of the restaurants are closed so you won't be getting a lot of orders after 11. Sometimes Uber gives you multiple orders and it's mostly good to accept them because it gives you an opportunity to earn more. The orders are generally close by or sometimes even from the same restaurant. But in general, when you are accepting an Uber order, you need to see whether it pays at least a dollar per kilometer. And also look at the estimated time it takes for the order. As you can see, uh, I have already uh, taken an order and now we are just uh, going to pick up the second uh, uh, restaurant. It's taking me towards uh, downtown and generally it is uh, better to stay away from crowded areas like downtown because you won't get parking and uh, it's just uh, a lot of traffic so you need to find an area with a good mix of restaurants and residential places so that you don't have to uh, move or drive far away and also you, you can get some good uh, parking Some people uh, tip more when the order is uh, uh, a big order. It makes sense because uh, people uh, tip a percentage of the order and 
if it's a big order you get a big tip main reason i started doing uber as a part time job was a flexibility i can work whenever i want there are no shifts or deadlines but when it comes to earnings with uber there is no exact number that you can give as earnings per hour but you can calculate an average so i want to take an example over here so i made 771 dollars in a week working 36 hours and 22 minutes and i did 88 trips so let's calculate how much i made per hour so that's 771 dollars in 36 hours let's say 37 hours so that's 20 dollars and 83 cents so let's take another example so i made 318 dollars in 15 hours and 28 minutes 318 dollars in let's say 16 hours so that comes up to 19.8 roughly 20 dollars and another example 429 dollars and 40 cents in 22 hours 429 so as you can see it's all around 19 to 20 dollars per hour but let's say you spend around a dollar or 1.5 dollars for fuel per hour if you remove the fuel cost it's going to come around 17 to 18 per hour so that's how much you will be making if you do uber we know that the gas prices are really high right now but uber has also started giving temporary fuel assistance they're giving 35 cents per delivery we don't know how long they're going to continue doing this but this definitely helps I would definitely recommend Uber Eats as a part-time job because it has no commitments and you can work on your own time and it's relaxing you can listen to music audiobook or a podcast when you drive and it gives you a chance to explore the city and discover new restaurants and new places if you have any comments or additional information about Uber Eats please feel free to share them in the comments and please like and subscribe to support the channel i would also like to thank my friend for helping me record this video thank you for watching this video see you next time and until then bye bye one bye bro who's going to take the bag